An adult human can only survive, on average, three days without water. Today I want to show you a very cool device from Itel, <laughs> something like that. I've got an intake screen right out there in the river. Coming out of this white hose right here is 100% pure reverse osmosis filtered water. But is it any good? Dump juice, put it into the apple juice. Can you see it going through the, the tubing? And uh, how does the water taste? Well, let's find out. All right, let's unbox this. This appears to be the unit. I got some blue tubing, white tubing, and here's the RO filter. Here's the hybrid filter, um, maybe some kind of handle or something. We'll find out what that is. A USB-C cable, a fun little bag of goodies here. Here we've got uh, what appears to be the an intake hose documentation. So we've got this nice handle here on the top. Those must be where the filter units go. On this end here, we've got uh, some ports uh, and it looks like they're color coded blue and white. On this side, we have another port, which uh, appears to be what uh, this plugs into. Right there, we've got the USB-C port. We've got on-off switch below that. We've got RO below that and a hybrid button below that. This just uh, gives you a couple of instructions. Based on the information here in the manual, you get drinking water out of the white port and then you get uh, what they call domestic water out of the blue port. Uh, and that's for you know washing and cleaning and what have you. It uses less than 45 watts. Hybrid filter is rated for 350 gallons of water and the RO filter is rated for 650 gallons. Of course, how dirty the water is you're filtering will impact the uh, useful life of the filters. And by the way, these buttons on the side are for when you change the filters. So these lights will light up when the filters need to be changed and uh, you push and hold whichever button corresponds to the filter you're replacing and it will uh, begin a draining process and drain the water out of that particular filter. Let's install the filters. It's labeled right here. It's hard for you to see, but there you go. Now it says hybrid and RO. So you know which one goes where. So here's the hybrid filter and uh, we'll just put it in here. And then you've got rotate to the left for unlock and rotate the, to the right for lock. So we'll just rotate to the right. Okay, so you gotta push it down in and then it will lock uh, into place, just like that. Now another observation, there's actually an arrow. You probably won't be able to see it. There's actually an arrow on the filters. So you actually just align that with the unlock icon, push it down and then twist it into place. Just like that. By the way, I figured out what this piece is for. This is a little wrench to be able to um, unscrew and get rid of, get the uh, filters out and put them in. So that makes it a, a little easier. So that's kind of nice. It is incredibly cold outside. So before I go out and find an outdoor water source, we've got to do something with this water filter. Point number four here, when using for the first time, the product will self clean for 35 minutes. So I want to do that while I'm in the warm house. We're going to hook up the suction hose here. That just goes in the back, right back here. Yeah, it does require some threading. Now, pretty easy. What I'd love to see is if they could figure out some kind of quick connect uh, feature like is on the front. Okay, it's me from the future and I just discovered it's camouflaged. But this intake hose does have a quick connect and disconnect. There's a little uh, ring right here and you can push it back and it will release this and then it will just slide right in. One nice thing is this intake hose is uh, very long. You'll see that uh, later on, but uh, let's go ahead and throw this in this bucket of water. There we go. These two colors of tubing, the blue and the white. Open this up. If you look here, we've got a white and a blue spigot. And so the tubes uh, connect to those respective colors. And uh, these are pretty easy. You just stick them in until they stop. Go ahead and give it a tug to make sure it's not gonna come out. Do the same thing here with this white one. Incidentally, if you do wanna get them out, you just push the collar back like that and the tube slides out, okay? And now all you gotta do is push and hold the on off button. It says run, I hear the pump running. And I don't know if you can see, but the water's being drawn up. So far it's very, very quiet. All right, the water's almost made it into the machine here. Okay, it's made it in the machine. So far no water's coming out of the tubes yet. According to the thing it says it takes about 35 minutes. So we'll be back when we start seeing some action here. Okay, it did take about 30 minutes and it just sat there, it didn't even sound or Look like it was doing much, but uh, after sitting there for a while, you can see here we've got water coming out of the white hose as well as some water coming out of the blue hose. So I think we're finally in business. All right, we've got a beautiful stream here. The winter time, as you can see the, the snow there on the edge, but uh, let's see what uh, this water filter can do for us. Got this set. Let's go ahead and throw the end into the water. It does sink once it fills up with water. We've got the uh, hoses pointed away from us. Let's go ahead and turn this on. There we go. Okay, so it's supposed to do a 30 second uh, backwash and uh, you can see that the water's coming out of the blue hose quite substantially, but uh, no water out of the 
uh, white hose yet. And then here pretty soon we should start seeing it come out of the white hose. Oh, there we go. Oh, that uh, blue hose stuff really got cloudy. Something that it uh, backwashed out or something because the water's pretty clear. Uh, it is river water, but uh, it's not uh, incredibly dirty at this point. I brought three jars that we're going to fill up uh, these jars with different kinds of uh, water. I'm going to fill up uh, this with just straight river water. This one here is labeled drinking, so we're going to fill that up with the white hose water. And then this one here I've labeled as washing water. We're going to fill that up uh, with the water from the blue hose. And by the way, you can't even hear this thing. Even in the house, it was nigh unto impossible to hear the pump running in this unit. All right, then to turn it off, we'll just push this button. It stops the flow of water. I don't know if you'll be able to, to see a difference. This one here on the left is the uh, river water. This one here on the right is the drinking water. If it focuses here, and this is probably not the best uh, place, and this is definitely not scientific, but you can definitely see the river water here on the left has a little more of a uh, yellow uh, hue to it compared to this drinking water on the right. You also probably can't see it on the camera, but uh, the river water has some floaties in it. The drinking water on the right is very clear. Uh, no floaties that I can see. All right, river water here is on the left. The water from the blue hose, the washing water is here on the right. And uh, once again, I think you can see that the washing water is just a little clearer, not quite as yellow in color as uh, the straight river water. And no floaties in the washing water either compared to a few chunkers in the uh, straight river water here on the left. Here are the jars of water on my lighter colored countertop. I don't know, it's, it's difficult to see, but uh, the river water is definitely a darker color than either the washing or the drinking water. This might give you a little better perspective. How does it taste? Let's just find out. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, uh, I'd certainly drink that uh, when I'm out camping or whatnot. That is that is good tasting water right there. So what happens if you've uh, filled up uh, your stuff and uh, you've turned this off and now you've come back because you need to refill stuff? What happens when you first turn this on? Let's see. So it looks like it'll do a, a back flush every single time. So you can see that the uh, water is coming out of the blue hose right here, but nothing is coming out of the white hose. So that's uh, my understanding is that's just its 30 second back wash to clean everything up. And uh, here momentarily you'll probably see it shift over and it will, there it goes. And now we've got water coming out of the white toes. All right, on these guys' website, they say you can filter all kinds of things. Coffee, urine, uh, you know, soda, I mean the whole nine yards. So I didn't want to uh, collect urine forever. So we're gonna do the next best test and filter uh, some apple juice here. You can see I've already got it uh, running and primed. So we are going to go ahead and dump juice into this jar. We're going to put the RO water in this and then we're going to put uh, the what they call domestic or wastewater in the other jar and see what uh, what happens. So let's get this intake hose quick, put it into the apple juice. Can you see it going through the, the tubing? So far so good. All right, let's call it done there for now. Okay, word to the wise, do not try to filter apple juice because we got uh, that much filtered water. This is our wastewater right here. It's on right now, but uh, zero water is coming out of the RO faucet and uh, a tiny bit is coming out of the uh, blue hose here, but nothing out of the RO. So uh, I must have uh, clogged uh, something up pretty substantially inside that uh, filter. I do this for you guys. So if you appreciate this kind of testing, uh, be sure and uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe, comment and share. 100% free to you, but it uh, really helps uh, the channel out and uh, will hopefully allow me to uh, get uh, some more filters uh, for this, since how I ruined mine uh, for you guys. Okay, here's the progression. Unfiltered, this came out of the blue hose, and this came out of the RO hose. So I guess we need to uh, test this and see uh, if uh, it just tastes like water. Doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, that tastes just like normal water. I can't taste anything that uh, tastes like apple or juice. This filter will certainly filter any water source, uh, but I would highly recommend trying to get the water as clean as you possibly can to start with to prolong the life of the filters. Now I know there's gonna be a number of you that say, I just prefer to rely on gravity to uh, pull water through the filter. I agree, especially if you're backpacking. But, uh, if you're car camping, maybe for an extended period of time, you've got uh, some kind of uh, solar panel or something that you can use to charge this up you're gonna get a much larger volume of water out of this compared to a gravity system. I personally think it's awesome. I am going to be adding it to my personal collection of gear. I think it's great for emergency preparedness and camping. It's gonna be perfect for that kind of stuff. And powering it is gonna be no problem for me. 
But that's my thought. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments section below. I always say the smartest people on planet Earth are in my comments section, and I absolutely love hearing from you. Tell me how you think you would use this, and if you think this would be valuable to you. You can tell these videos take a lot of time and effort to put together, and all we ask for in return are four things that are completely free for you to do. That's a simple like, a subscribe, a comment, and a share. It's simple, easy, free for you to do and benefit the, tr the channel tremendously. I sure appreciate all of you guys, and uh, be sure you stay tuned because we've got a lot more fun stuff coming up. We'll catch y'all next time.